don't even know how to start this video. I'm, I'm just pissed off. It's strange because I've actually been thinking about making a video about this lens, which is the 24-70 f2.8 Canon, which is my favourite lens to use. But recently, on my past couple of shoots, I've been getting an error mode come up. Error 01. Hey, that error. Oh, again? Yeah. And that's basically the connection to the camera lens and the camera body. And well, after further investigation and trying to fix things, I now think I'm gonna need to send this to Canon to get fixed. Which is so annoying. I look after this equipment so much. Camera equipment to me is like my child. <laughs> it's so expensive, so each piece of camera equipment I get, I look after I try to look after incredibly well. You know, I've got the expensive camera bag that's gonna protect it from when going outside. Every time I do go out, I always have the camera strap on because I'm scared of dropping it, even though it sometimes I could really do without it. But I try my best to keep this stuff as damage-free as possible. I mean, look at this lens. It's so clean, I try to keep it clean, and well, it's not got a scratch on it. But with that said, I wanted to make this video to basically be real with you. I don't want this channel to be anything not real. I'm a normal person, I don't exactly earn an incredible amount of money. So when it does come to buying these kind of things where it basically breaks my bank account, I do my best to look after them. And that's why I'm so annoyed. I basically thought I would take you guys along with me through this process and in case it happens to you to show you what happens so the first step for me i need to put some money aside to before i even send this off because i can't go and get it sent off and be said it's this much and i can't even afford to get it fixed but once i have got a bit of a substantial amount of money saved away i will then contact canon and what i've read up is you basically send it to them they'll give you a report back and tell you how much it's going to cost to fix i really hope it don't take too long because i'm actually meant to be going on holiday soon and I'm not sure when this video is actually going to come out. I might already be on holiday whilst this video is coming out. But I really need to get this lens fixed before I go on holiday because I'll be really disappointed if I can't use it whilst I'm away. Okay, so I'm currently on the computer talking to Canon on their help page. I can't actually show you the conversation. I think it's against like the private policy. But anyway, they've been really quick at replying to me and that the conversation is going very well. But yeah, I'll uh, update you as we go along. So the conversation is coming up to a wrap now. Andreas is the person that I've been talking to. Big up Andreas, man. Like, yeah, they've been a proper good help. So I think I'm going to carry on the process tomorrow and see what happens, what you have to do to get it sent off. And like I said, I'll update you as I go along. Okay, well, it's not the next day, but it is a few days later, and I have just gone back through the process of talking to Canon again, because for some reason you can't go on to fill a form out to get something repaired until you spoke to Canon again, which is a bit strange and a bit craps, because I've had to explain everything all over again. But yeah, I have now filled out a form to get it sent off, and I've just got the shipping label. So that's what I'm going to do now. I need to go and find a box to put the lens in and get it all packaged up, I suppose. And fingers crossed, they're actually going to be able to fix it. Saying that, this time they did offer me a 10% discount to buy a whole brand new lens, which I was like, well, they didn't offer me that the first time. But, well, to be fair, it was probably going to be cheaper anyway just to go and get it fixed. And there's nothing really else really wrong with the lens. Now, there's no scratches or any, like, bad damage to it. So, yeah, I'm going to... Get it all packaged up. And just like that, I completely forgot to record that whole process. But it is all packaged up and with a UPS now, well, I took it to like a UPS drop-off point. So now it's just the waiting game to see how much they say it's going to cost me to get fixed and see what the actual problem is. So I'll let you guys know when I've got that information. So see you then. About three days later, and I've just had my first phone call to basically say what's up with the camera and how much it's going to cost me. And honestly, I'm 
I'm pretty kind of happy because I thought it was going to cost a lot more than I thought it would do. So, yeah, I'm not going to tell you the price yet, but uh, I'll let you know when I've actually got the lens back. They said it's going to take around three days for it to get fixed and then obviously get it sent back to me. So to be fair, I don't think that's too bad. I reckon I'll get it back. Maybe I'd buy the end of this week or end of next week. And that's a pretty fast turnaround. And three days later, I was right. I've just got the payment, the payment, the invoice for the repair. And it has come through with like all the details of what's been replaced and how much things have cost. And I'll go through that once I've got the lens back. But I just thought I'd give you a quick update there. I know this video is a bit random and a bit like jumpy from day to day. But I just want to basically give you the experience of what I'm having and telling you guys what's happening when kind of thing. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go and pay that now. And I will guess I'm going to be waiting to see how long it's going to take until I actually get the lens back. Hopefully not too long. So yeah. Well, that was a bit of a nightmare because I've had to call Canon two, two or three times because at first, when I tried to actually pay for the repair, the pay button wasn't showing up on the website. So I, I couldn't pay for it. So I gave him a ring and they guided me to basically go onto the website and not log in and do all this other stuff to then pay for it. And then go to pay for it and for some reason my payment wasn't going through so i tried twice and rang them up again and they were like yeah i don't know why don't no idea why your card ain't working so you're gonna have to ring your bank so i left it for half an hour tried once more and it was successful honestly with all that i think canon you just need your you need your website updating like i've i've noticed many times now throughout this process that the it's the website that's just messing up sometimes so that would be helpful. So yeah, now time to actually wait for the lens to come back to me. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. Well, less than 24 hours since that last clip. So less than 24 hours since I paid for this to be done, I've got it back, which is a surprise because I honestly thought that it was going to take maybe a, well at least a week or four days for it to send back or something like that but no I got a text maybe an hour or two after I actually paid for the repair stating it was basically next day delivery so I suppose the only thing left to do is to get straight into it Oh, okay. What? What is all that? Okay, we'll go through that in a second. But a bunch of paperwork. That smells really weird. Well, we got it back. <laughs> so they've wrapped it up in uh, plastic to keep it safe, which is strange i suppose but let's get it off and see how it looks honestly that okay no i really thought that was a brand new lens end but it's not i don't see no like other damages or anything from it not that i would expect like honestly at first like i just said i thought it was a brand new lens I thought they were just going to send me out a brand new lens. But they haven't, which is obviously, well, I've paid for a repair, not for a new lens. I'm going to go and put this straight back on there. It's weird not having it on there because, well, I always have it on there. Just because I do. What's all this paperwork? Stay ahead with CPS. No idea what that is. But we don't need it. Thank you, but no. And then the invoices. Okay, so probably what you've been waiting for is what was actually wrong with the lens. And it says here, the power diaphragm AS. So whatever that is, honestly, I'm not an engineer, so I'm not really too sure what makes the lens work. To be fair, that would probably be some useful information and I probably should look into that. But that is what needed to be changed. So the power diaphragm cost a grand total 
of £26.55 and for the hourly rate charge they spent two hours on it repairing it and that cost £86 so altogether which is including VAT cost £238.26 now don't get me wrong earlier on I said in this video that I'm pretty happy with the price I really could have done without having to pay this but it's a lot less than what I expected which is why I'm pretty happy with how much I've had to pay out to get it fixed wait a minute let's let's put the lens on there we go and it is working is it working let's see if we can change the f-stop yes it's working exactly how it's supposed to be so yeah this video is basically to show you what the steps are and what happens if something like this ever happens to you and it, i suppose it's not as scary as you think because i know at first i was well i was panicking because my, my lens is broken you know what i mean like I, i've never sent anything off before to get repaired in this sort of circumstance and i just didn't know what to do so i hope this video helps you guys understand of what actually happens and also from actually the day of me sending the lens off to receiving it back it took a week <laughs> i mean that to me is extremely fast i was really thinking it might take a few weeks or even a month or maybe a couple of months and that's where i was getting a bit stressed out about not knowing if i was going to be able to use this lens for when i go on holiday which when this video drops i think i'm either on holiday or i'm just about to go on holiday so disclaimer there's going to be some new vlogs coming along and they're going to be sick so yeah if you haven't already, make sure you drop a like on this video if it has helped you and comment below and subscribe, of course. That helps this channel grow and I really appreciate it. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Safe.